good morning students i hope you all are doing good i am amirul shardar assistant teacher of silver point school teaching economics business studies and accountancy so today's topic is what is the relation between the need want and demand the condition of demand and the law of demand welcome you all to another lecture today we are going to be learn the principal chapter of economics that is demand generally people think about that demands are needs or wants but the needs wants and demand have separate or different meaning itself so what is needs according to abraham maslow all people have some different needs like physical needs food clothing shelter safety water we have social need belonging and affection that's why we use facebook instagram twitter all this thing we have individual need like knowledge and self expression we have esteem needs self actualization need that is needs are the state of self deprivation but wants it's completely opposite of needs so what is wants wants we know that is not essential or not required but needs is essential it is required so what is wants one that satisfy the needs as called wants and this wants of people depends upon the culture subculture their personality perception ideas thoughts their opinion interest all these things but the demand is different from the needs and wants in society or we have all the unlimited needs and wants but these for example we have the need of shoe we need shoe but there is a what is the difference between need and wants there is a running shoe walking shoe or the sports shoe this this specialization or the different categories of needs that is called wants but if if i don't have the purchasing power i don't have the willingness i don't have the no, want then it is not called the demand so de what is demand demand are human needs that backed by the ability and willingness to buy the wants only a person buy those goods which satisfy their wants or that person's wants that is called demand now what is the condition of demand we will learn so my students we have four conditions to define the demand first is desire for a commodity you have the desire to purchase that commodity number 2 you have the purchasing power or ability to purchase that commodity and number 3 willingness to pay for that commodity and number 4 period of time so demand is a measurement of a consumer willingness to acquire a specific commodity or service at a given price the demand analysis and the demand theory are of crucial or importance to the business enterprises source of many useful insights for business decision making by sales forecasting pricing decision marketing decision production decision financial decision for all this decision we need the demand analysis talking about the law of demand so what is the law of demand actually it states that price and quantity demanded of a commodity move in opposite direction so we take the two variables one is price another is the quantity demanded and this two moves in a opposite directions when the price of a commodity rises the demand for it falls when the price falls demand rises so this is called the law of demand so if you look the curve the curve is downward sloping when the price rises the quantity demand of that product 
S decreases. But when price falls, the quantity demand increases. So if we add all these locus, all this point, we get a curve which is downward sloping or negative slope. So this is the law of demand. Thank you all.